Hey guys, in this video, we will be covering the Marketing tab. Now under the Marketing tab, we have some really cool and interesting options that you can use to boost your business, as well as create some additional stuff that we will be going over shortly. So the first one is the Social Planner. Now Social Planner is really cool because you can connect all these different social media platforms and then schedule posts very easily inside the system. So let's say, if I want to integrate any of these channels, all I will have to do is click on the icon here, and then it will prompt me to log in and then connect the right page. So let me just select a few of these here. Now as you saw that, I connected three channels here, including Facebook, Google My Business, and LinkedIn. And in a similar way, you can also add Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok if you need to. Once you are done, just click on Get Started, and then it will take you to the Social Planner Overview, where you can create a new post very easily. So we have a few options here, which is if you want to create a new post, which is one singular post, you can select the social accounts where you want to publish this. Now, as you can see, I can select all the different channels that I want to schedule this. So if you have all of those selected, you can also click on Customize for each channel. So if you want to change the content a little bit for all three channels here, you can do so. Or you can just toggle that off if you don't need to do that. Then you can add in the content here. You can also use some formatting options here. Also add emojis to make the content more visual, and add images or videos if you need to. And the cool thing is you will be able to see the previews on the right side of the screen, and also switch between different channels here to see how it will look like on different platforms. Then you can also select a call to action. As you know, on Google My Business, you also have to give a call to action. So you can also define that here. Now, if you're posting stories or reels, you can also use that option. Of course, that's only valid for Instagram. So if you're using that, you can also use these options right here. Then once you're satisfied, you can save this for later if you want to draft it, or you can post it right away. And then it also allows you these different options, which is you can schedule posts, or you can send this for approval, or you can delete as well, of course. But if you need to use that option, that also exists right there. Now, if I go back and click on New Post, again, we do have some more options. So we can also upload from CSV. So let's say you have a content plan of like multiple posts across the month. You can upload that here and then start creating posts through that. Also, if you'd like to save some time, you can also use our pre-built templates for social media across multiple industries, which will really help you get kickstarted for your social media content. And the last option we have is RSS Post. So RSS Post is a really good option in which you can embed RSS feeds from your blogs or websites. You can use RSS to fetch some new content from blogs or websites and also publish them to the multiple channels that you have connected inside the social planner. This is really powerful if you want to create content and save some time. So let's say if you have a WordPress blog, you publish about marketing and all that stuff. And once you have RSS posts connected to create content, it will automatically post new content every time you have a new blog post on your website. And then we have the email campaign. So under email campaigns, you can create folders and create email campaigns very easily. And once you click on new, you will be given a choice to choose a template. Of course, if you have already created it, or you can start blank if you need to. So if you click on blank, we have a couple of options. The first one is the design editor. And then we also have a code editor for people who are more tech savvy. So if you click on the design editor, it's pretty good. You can use a lot of options. So I'm just going to go over some really important ones that you can use. So once this loads up in the center, we have the editor. And on the left side, you can see all the elements. So you can use all these elements to make your emails more visual. And then if I scroll down on the left side, we also have layouts. Let's say you want to use a 50-50 section. You can do so and add like a couple of images here. So one image here, and then you can also add another image here. Plus, there are a lot of layouts that are available to you. So feel free to use it to your creativity, and then you can create an awesome email template right away. So just for this example, I had created an email template to show you how you can make it look like. So if I go into this one right here, you can see that you can change the colors, add your own branding, add images, make it look really nice. And once you save these templates, you can start using it for your email campaigns. Then the next option we have is templates or snippets. You might have seen this in another video where we have covered this in more detail, which was about conversations. So these are quick SMS and email templates that you would like to use. Now, once you have created these, 
you can send these through conversations or use these in your workflows. It's quite simple. If you want to create a text template, you can name it right away and then add in. The content for here, just as an example, as you can see, I have one query right here. So if I want to edit that, you can see you can add the name here, then add in the content. You can make use of custom values and also trigger links here, and then also see a preview on the right side. Once you're happy with all this, all you have to do is hit save, and then you will have these message templates or snippets that you will be able to access whenever sending a message out to somebody, or even under your workflows. Then the next option we have is trigger links. Again, we covered this in really good detail in the conversations video. So just to do a quick recap, trigger links allow you to put links inside SMS and emails, where you can track if somebody has opened that and then take action based on that. And in order to create trigger links, it is quite simple. All you have to do is click on this blue button here, name your trigger link, maybe something like marketing offer, and in here you will put in the link where you want them to go. And this will create a trigger link. As an example, I'm just going to put a dummy link here. Once you hit save, it will come up here and then let's say if I go back to templates here, create a new text template. Now let's say if I want to send it, I will click on trigger links here, then select the marketing offer and it will generate this link. When they click on that, I will be able to track it and then take more actions like training automations on it and then be able to see that if they have opened that link or not. Now the last option we have here is the affiliate manager which is a really powerful tool, which allows you to create your own affiliate campaigns. So let's say if you are selling services or products, and then you want to create a campaign where you want to promote it via affiliates, so you can pay them against any order that you receive through them. So let's go ahead and set up an affiliate campaign to see how this works. So the first thing you have to do is click on this add button right here, and this will open up the setup. Now here you can define a campaign name. So I'm just going to fill this for a marketing ebook affiliate campaign, just as an example. Then the next option you have to select is a funnel or a website, because let's say you have that product hosted in a funnel inside the system. So you will select the funnel here, then select the funnel that you want to use. In this case, I have set up a funnel for marketing ebook, where I'm promoting or selling an ebook for 100. And then you have to select the step where you want the affiliates to go, or the link that you want them to promote. So just click on this one right here. I have only one page created here. So once that is done, you will see this link here. Let me break that down for you. So before that question mark, that is the URL to my landing page where I am selling the ebook for. And then after that, we have the affiliate ID. Whenever we have an affiliate, this will be a unique ID for each affiliate. So whenever we receive an order through them, the system will be able to track, okay, you know, this order came from, let's say Sam, or this order came from Mark. That way it is completely automated and it can track where the sales are coming from so it can pay them out automatically. Then we have the commission type. So you can choose a default commission or product-based commission if you want to. So if it's a product-based commission, you can add products. In this case, it's a marketing ebook for me. So I'm just going to select that one here. Then I can either select a percentage commission or a flat one. So in this example, I'm going to go with 20% commissions. So anytime an affiliate gets me an order, they will get 20% of that, which is 20. Then you can also add in campaign description if you want to. I'm going to skip that for now. Then you can add affiliates if you want to right away. I'm going to do that later on. So let's just skip that for now. Then you have to select the payout frequency. I'm going to use pay 30. So it will do the payouts 30th of each month. Then we also can do a second tier commission type if you need to. I'm just going to skip that for now. And then the next option we have is an email template. So by default, there is this template. If you click here, you will be able to see the content. This is the email that will go out to your affiliates so that they can start promoting your offer or your product. You can also customize it if you want to. If you have created some more templates under email templates, you can switch them out if you like. And then you can also customize the cookie life. I'm just going to do like 30 days. So let's say if somebody opened that link once and then they came back within the 30 day period, the system will still count that the sale came from that person. Now, once you're satisfied with all these settings, just hit on create campaign and it will create that in a few seconds. Now, as you can see, the status of this campaign is paused. And if you click on that, you will see that we do not have any affiliates added. So in order to do that, what we can do is head over to affiliates right here 
and then click on Add, and then create some affiliates. Now, if you already had affiliates from previous campaigns, maybe in another system, you can upload them from here. You can also import them from contacts, let's say if they already exist. I'm just going to select these two options just as an example to show you how it will look like. So if they're already sitting in your contacts or database, you can select that from here, and then just select them here, and then hit input. Now you can see it does take a few seconds for this to work. So once that is done, it will look something like this. Now if I go back to my campaign right here and click here, I'm just going to click on Edit Campaign. Then click on Add Affiliate. So once I do that, I will be able to select the affiliates from here. I'm just going to select these two for now. Once that is done, I will click on Update Campaign, and then it will save that. And once we're back here, we'll just click here, and then click on Update. So this campaign tends to active. Now, of course, if you had the affiliates added before, it will save you a little bit of time. As you saw that, I had to go back and forth for a couple of times. Now, let's go with the remaining settings for your affiliate manager. So, if you head over to Payouts, of course, this is where you can see all the payouts. If somebody is being paid an affiliate got you a sale, and they're getting payouts, you will be able to see and track all of that here. And then if you head over to Media here, this is where you can create assets for your offer. So let's say, if I'm promoting or selling a book for $100 for marketing, I can create some assets here, add some folders, maybe images, which the affiliates can use to promote your product. So if you add in some files, here like images, or anything of those sorts, I am just going to use this image as an example. Now if you add more images here and assets that they can use, of course it will make it easier for them to promote it to more people. And in a more effective way, that way you will get more sales. And the affiliates will get their commissions to motivate them to push your product even more. Now the last thing we have under Affiliate Manager is Settings, where you can customize some of the text that appears in different parts of the affiliate campaigns, like Title, Affiliate Payouts, all of that. So if you need to change that, maybe you don't want to call the Media Folder a Media Folder. Maybe you want it to call Affiliate Assets or something of those sorts. So you can hit save here, and then it will customize it just like this. As you can see, it has been redeemed to affiliate assets. So in a similar fashion, you can customize the other stuff as well under settings if you need to. All right. So that was all about the marketing tab, including these amazing features that you can use. I hope you found value in this video, and thank you for watching.